did a complete fresh start on YNAB and I'm going to go ahead and just simplify my budget, wind down on the categories. So yeah, let's keep on chucking along. So this is live. My live expenses is rent. It's actually now due on the 15th. It's always been due. I'll just put 15th. Wait, it's not. Okay, I'll just leave it 15. We know it's day 15, right? It lo actually looks kind of weird. Okay, 15. <laughs> then I'm going to be changing this to utilities. And this is going to include electric. It's going to include gas. I'm going to delete the gas category. It's going to include internet. So I'm going to delete that. And I'm deleting furniture and appliances that can all go under household or home. Um, I'm actually going to delete all of my subscription categories because I'm going to be adding it over here. Should I just take, okay, so let's do this. So we're going to do subscriptions, subscriptions, sub subscriptions, or I should have done a wine app. And then I'm going to edit the notes. So subscription is going to count in Spotify, which is $9.99. It's going to count Netflix, which is $15.49 for some reason. I think it's because it was tied to my T-Mobile bill for a bit. And then Hulu I paid for this month, but I'm going to be canceling it. Canceling it. So that's just a one-time thing. And then YNAB, which is actually YNAB is going to be a yearly thing. So I only have Spotify, Netflix recurring. So $9.99 plus $15.49. That's $9.99 plus $15.49. So I'm going to set a goal here. Edit $25.48. Monthly, last day of the month. Yes, save target. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna come here living expenses woot woot the next thing is so live live give and save are three categories that I want to keep give is going to go up here I'm pretty much gonna leave the giving category alone Rent utilities, phone, renter's insurance. Moving household. Mm. Okay, yeah. Gifts, I'm going to be living alone. Leaving alone. And transportation is actually going to go under living. So gasoline. Here. I'm going to be deleting parking because that will go under transportation. Um, I might leave car maintenance. I could put insurance here. So that'll be like 108 into 2. So delete. But I just like having all associated costs with transportation under t the one category. So I'm just going to delete this. So transportation is going to have triple A. Or maybe I'll keep car maintenance and put it under car maintenance. Okay, so de car deductible I'm going to delete. Car maintenance will be... Oh, I already had notes there. <laughs> I've done it before. So AAA is $12 due in January. Registrations actually, I think it's $33 per month due in April. Insurance is $100 per month. Maintenance is now $100 per month. So that's a total of, let's see, let's see. So 12 plus 33 plus 100 plus... 
I think that's it. 12 plus 32 plus, oh, plus another 100. I realized, like, lumping all my transportation categories together, I know over here I have a goal of the amount, but that's, that thing's expensive. How did I get it to indent like that? I know it's like shift something. Oh, oops, total. Oh, you just click on it. When you don't click, you like that. Okay. Shift. Shift enter. Got it. Got it. Let me do that for subscriptions. Let's see. I was using a comma. Like, what do I have to click on this? Oh, it's probably because I have both clicked. No, I don't have anything clicked. So let's take away this comma. It will show. There we go. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Alrighty. So that's that gifts and giving i'm just gonna leave this as give okay and i don't like this emoji i'm gonna say change it to a different emoji later maybe perhaps uh so i'm gonna be deleting i'll delete triple a i'll delete car registrations all going to be included under car Maintenance, health, medical, dental, this is delete because it'll just be under one category. Okay, so after giving, I want to include savings. So this is actually just going to be investments. I'm going to delete everything else. Delete. Delete. Hey, yeah. Delete. Delete. Oh. I'll reassign it to investments. Delete. Pension. Delete. This one's also going to investments. Delete. Um, and then I'm going to delete every single thing from payroll deductions. Well, I can't, so <laughs> cancel. I'm going to create payroll deductions. And this is going to be deleted. Go to payroll deductions and so on and so forth. Can I do No, I don't think I could delete all of them. I have to do it one by one. Okay, so move that to payroll deductions. Delete. It was nice seeing um, the taxes, but at this point, I could just look at my W-2 for that. Or my last um, pay stub, which has a sum of everything. Which I might do in the future. I have access to like seven years worth of pay payroll stubs. Delete, delete. This is going to the hiding category and this is going to delete. Ah! Hidden categories. I don't know what to, oh, this is ruining everything. Just kidding. So reimbursements, I'm gonna delete as well. Maybe I'll keep payroll deductions. <laughs> we'll see. Subscriptions, I'm gonna delete all of them because we just 
Um, Mexico I'm going to delete. I just want one travel category. Entertainment I'm going to keep. New computer, new phone I'm going to keep. Electronics I'm going to delete. Actually, hmm. medical interpreter tuition, I'm going to rename this to just education, which is two hundred a month. I'm going to be deleting passion planner. Sorry, passion planner. Cleaning, I don't need. Beauty, I may keep. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it under health and wellness, but I really don't want to overspend on beauty as well. Well, let's, 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 okay. Books, I'm going to delete because that could go under education if necessary. And, okay, so eating out, I'm going to leave. Then here, I'm going to rename this to a sweet place because this is where all my guilt-free spending is going to go. Um, health and wellness. Oops. Health and wellness will go here. There'll be anything to do with medications. Um, what else? <laughs> That's it. Not just kidding. Medications. Toiletries, anything will go on there. Uh, health and wellness, guilt free spending. I'll do this one here. Guilt free spending. And that could be here. Okay. Savings I want to add here. Actually, savings is going to have. I like having it travel under a sweet place. Investments and savings. So I'm going to add moving down to investments and savings. And I'm going to add yearly memberships here as well. I actually think investment, yeah, investment, investments and, in, okay, this is long-term savings. Yearly memberships. What kind of emoji does yearly memberships require? Like target. Yeah, I'll just do the target thing. So yearly memberships include Costco, which is 120. It includes Amazon Prime, which is 152 with taxes. They really are expensive. And YNAB, which is $110 with taxes. So I did add this up before and it's a lot. So it's 120 plus 152 plus 110 is 382. Um, Costco is due in November. Amazon Prime, I think it's due in December. And YNAB is usually due in April. So from here, yeah, <laughs> um, so I just always want to have 382 there and I kind of fund this with, um, cash back. So I guess, okay, so my target, not necessarily. Savings balance. 
I want to, anytime I get it replenished, I want to make sure that I do that. Okay. So yearly memberships done, investments is done. Let's put money. money. I really like this one. So that's the, this one's kind of, gotta move it here. Oakley dokley. Oakley Okay. A sweet place. Investments and savings I got down. Giving I got down. A sweet place I got down. Car maintenance. I, I'll, I'll actually keep that under investments and savings, I guess. Okay. 2.45 per month. That's a lot of moolah. And so with that, I'll delete this part. I actually want to keep a little bike emoji. The train is passing by. Don't mind it. Hey, where did the bike emoji go? I'll change... Uh, Hold on, we have to preserve... Oh, did I already delete transportation? <laughs> Sometimes you could copy the emoji. Um, so I have live, give, save. Groceries is actually under living. We need that to live. Food is good. Clothing is under living as well. Just the bare essentials. And subscriptions I have. So beauty, education, I had already. I'm gonna delete electronics. I don't know where I wanted to put education. I guess a sweet place. Eating out, entertainment. My computer, new phone can be up here. Investment should be first, y'all. Oops. I don't know. I guess I still have to get used to this setup. Um, education should be under a sweet place. And beauty, I'll go ahead and hide it for now. I might use it later. But for now, it's, no, it's okay. Education, we're going to get a little, a little book. Education, 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 health and wellness. Let's put a little running emoji here. Yeah. Sweet place. 
Okay, so we have our living category, we have our give category, we have our savings category. I just want to not have emojis on the big categories. A sweet place. Payroll deductions, come on. So I'm going to figure out how to delete payroll deductions for some reason. Now we're going to fund these babies. Okay. So groceries. Let me see what I had under groceries before. I had $127 with 39 cents for groceries. And then utilities. I think it had like $97 plus something else. $97.64 plus, so it's $97 plus $15. Clothing. Had $200. and eighty two dollars two seventy one sixty one was for that renter's insurance had one dollar oh because I just paid it this month so I'll keep the, I'll keep the one dollar there Household had $25.77. Um, this goal, I want to change it to $100. Uh, transportation is good. I had like $54 left over in gasoline. $16.85 actually <laughs> but I only assigned $100 this month to that definitely want to make sure we have the subscriptions funded family had a good amount because I just moved a bunch of the stuff there so $1,100 Christmas two sixteen sixty seven. I can't believe I already have two sixteen sixty seven saved for Christmas. That's pretty good in my opinion. Seventy two. Investment zero. I already got all my deductions taken out of investments. For sure, I want to make sure I get the new phone right. So, for the new phone, I had saved up one thirteen point thirty eight. For the new computer, I had saved up 150. For moving, um, zero, but 1400 is in I bonds. And yearly membership. So I did have Costco saved and I did have Amazon Prime saved. I just need to finish the YNAB one to have it fully funded. A sweet place. Entertainment, I know, was for sure zero. <laughs> I have not begun to figure out what I want to put towards entertainment. But the rest, health and wellness did not have a lot. It had like $13. I really need to get um, saving, I mean, claiming um, my FSA stuff that I can claim. And then for travel... I can't remember 
I think it was like twelve hundred dollars or something. Twelve twenty eight fourteen. Twelve twenty eight point fourteen. Zero. Eating out. I am definitely keeping what I had on under eating out, which was eighty dollars and thirty cents. And guilt-free spending, I think, was that like it's twenty-six dollars plus my twenty dollars <laughs> under the book category. Twenty-six plus twenty-one plus twelve. That's my good book category, my spending, and. Something else. <sighs> I'm boring myself. Okay. And that's that. With that being said, I have $1,787 with 38 cents left. Hmm. Mucho interesante. I think I'll leave it at that. Um, I'm going to place a holding category here because, <laughs> yeah, um, this is a whole fresh start. We want to make sure that everything uh, is accounted for. What if I miss something? And yeah, I want to make sure I don't miss anything. I think that's pretty much it. I might condense it, condense it even further. But I think this is good so far. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. It kind of looks the same, so maybe I won't post this video. <laughs> maybe no one will notice. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.